all set. I now work at Trump Turnberry. With the risk of detection so great, Simon decides that from now until he's on the course, he'll travel alone and with no camera. Let's go jump the jump. To pull off the stunt, Simon needs to get himself and 65 swastika emblazoned golf balls to the ninth tee and wait for Donald Trump to officially reopen the course. Simon arrived the night before, checked into room 112 at the Turnberry Golf Course Hotel, which he'd booked weeks earlier, and hid a bag of swastika golf balls under the bed. Then, to avoid getting recognized, he snuck out of the hotel, checked into a nearby B&B where he stayed the night, woke at 4 a.m. and got into his disguise. Now posing as a Turnberry employee, Simon gets himself and an identical but empty bag past the Scottish police, the Secret Service, the counter-terrorism unit, and Donald Trump's own personal bodyguards, evading detection by bag checks, body searches, and ID scans. All of which means he can now return to room 112, swap bags, and get himself and the balls to the ninth tee a mile away. Then, in order to be within golf ball throwing distance of Mr. Trump, Simon embeds himself amongst the assembled journalists and waits for the presidential candidate to arrive. Levels on the ball box need to go up. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd just like to bid you all a very warm welcome, and I would like to introduce you to uh, Mr. Donald J. Trump. It's now or never for Simon. Sorry, Donald. Those are the new balls you ordered. Um, just got a few here for you, sir. These are the new balls available from the uh, from the clubhouse. If you want, you can uh, hand them out. They are available. Here we go. It's part of the new Trump range. Sorry, Mr. Trump. I meant to give them out earlier. Little part to the alpha control. Gentleman has now been arrested. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And this is an amazing honor. It's an amazing day, very historic day for a lot of reasons, not only Turnberry. I think that it's uh, purely historic, and what's happening is uh, historic. It's an interesting thing. You see so many horror stories about that, to, but to be able to work with him, to be able to work with my brother or sister on a day 12 months as he's been slightly preoccupied with something else, and you know, it's amazing. Our father's put tremendous trust in us. Thank you all for being here, and thank you to our amazing members who have been so supportive of the process. And She respected and loved the queen, and uh, she loved the ceremony and the pomp, pomp and circumstance, and uh, she was... I think it'll turn out to be a good thing, maybe short-term not, but ultimately I think it will be a good thing, and uh, I've actually been in touch, and some, by the way, don't like it, and some do like it, you know. They're advisors, they're like everybody else. <laughs> You did it! We, we out did Secret Service and the security guy's still outside, look. The coppers were incredible. They are now giving me a lift to Glasgow Airport. OK. And that my release was on condition that I get the hell out of Scotty Land. Trump is absolutely livid. This keeps happening to me. Maybe stop being such a bellend then. Trump eventually calmed down as much as a very, very, very angry man ever does. Agreed not to press charges on one condition the Secret Service would interview me, AK waterboard me and leave me for dead. <laughs> Scottish coppers refused to let him and whisked me to the airport. Ah, oh, mate, I'm totally drained. Bye out, jump the jump! <laughs>